What would make this an especially meaningful conversation for you today? Right now, I'm studying for the LSAT on my own. Um, I'm using Khan Academy. Um, I'm thinking to apply to law school next year, not this year, uh, due to the fact that I'm not prepared for the LSAT. So that's where I am right now. Okay, so do you have a particular test date in mind? Um, no, I don't. If there is one in February, they were saying, um, I went to the law school fair, um, forum in New York, and they were saying, um, if I want to apply this year, I would have to take the exam, um, the LSAT in uh, January. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so some law schools will take no later than January. Right. Some will take February as well, if right. you want to apply this cycle. Right. So you'd have to check with the individual law schools to see what the situation is. But if it turns out that applying a little bit later could get you even one more point on the LSAT because you have more time to study, right. that alone could make it worth it. Alternatively, mm -hmm. if you wanted to wait until next fall to apply at the beginning of the cycle, that might be a good idea as well, at least to consider. Right. Okay. Um, so as far as like, I heard you talking about, um, having legal, legal experience before applying to law school. And that's my issue right now. Um, due to the fact that I did graduate in May of 2018, that was almost about to be two years ago. Um, would you suggest I get some type of legal experience? I mean, I do have the GPA for the school that I want to apply to, but I'm not sure where I'm standing with my LSATs as of right now. So do you think it would be a good idea to get legal experience? Um, right now, I work at a law firm, but it's not directly working with attorneys. It's more so um, data entry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's totally fine. Honestly, the legal experience question, you don't need to have legal experience. It's a nice to have, yeah. but a better LSAT score is far more important. On your application, if you can show in some way that you understand what lawyers actually do yeah. versus what you see on TV, how they're portrayed in the media, yeah. that will make a big difference, but you don't have to actually have been a paralegal or anything like that. And the fact that you're already working at a law firm, regardless of the context, shows that you are at least exposed in some way to what it's actually like. Even the data that you're inputting is related to the law or the cases they're working on, I would imagine. Right. And as far, I, I did see you also mention something with retail as well. Um, right now, I'm also thinking because this job, I mean, it's not an every, well, it is every day, but it's um, something I do part-time. So I'm thinking to go into working with Amazon as a side job as well, like a second job to make more money um, just to save up to um, apply to law school because I know law school can be very um, expensive to apply to. Um, and I did see that the LSAC, they also offer fee waivers. Now, I see that they, they asked a couple questions when I went to go apply to the fee waiver, um, but some of those questions were no. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, they won't like give me the fee waiver. Is there a way, what would you suggest to like appeal? Like how would I appeal um, if they do write me back, no. It would be based on the details. If there's something that the fee, that the application doesn't fully address or you have a unique situation, just okay. explain whatever that is. Okay. Do you have um, students that have, have they appealed and got through with it? Like, yeah, what, absolutely. You know, like their scenario of what occurred? Because I mean, my mom, it's just me and my mom. So um, my dad isn't alive anymore. So I don't know if that might qualify. Do you know? That could possibly help. I don't remember the details, but there was someone in my Facebook group who was talking about appealing a fee waiver successfully. So if you join the LSAT Unplugged Facebook group, you okay. might be able to find out more about that particular situation or you can just make a post. Okay, I'll definitely do that. The personal statement actually isn't the most important thing. The LSAT score and your GPA weigh far more heavily in the admission process than the personal statement does. Okay. So much so to the point that you could actually take the LSAT and then while you're waiting for your score during those three weeks between mm -hmm. taking the exam and getting your score back, you could use those, th those three weeks to work on your personal statement and other parts of the application. The oh. only thing you would need to do earlier is get your letters or letters of recommendation. Okay. Um, now I did see that the July, one of the exams recently took a while to come back. Uh, which one was that? I, I seen it briefly on your page as to, um, uh, exam score took extremely long to come back this year. And do you know the reason for that? Yeah, sure. So the July LSAT scores 
it took much longer to come back than normal. I think it was about six weeks. And that was because of the digital LSAT transition specifically. That mm-hmm. was the transitional exam. So LSAC was doing more detailed analysis than, than they normally do. Mm-hmm. Everyone's input answer choices. But things have returned to the standard three weeks, approximately 19 to 21 days on average to get your score back. And so whenever you take the LSAT in the next year, at least, it'll probably be within that time frame. And hopefully, as time goes on into the future, they will shorten the window for which you have to wait. Okay. And do you also help with like diagnostic tests and um, look to see like where your students are in the LSAT prep? Or is that more so us doing that on our own and seeing what we need help in? For my one-on-one coaching clients, I do actually analyze their exams with them, help them spot weak areas, whether it's with regard to a question type or a particular method of reasoning or conceptual gap. Okay. All right. So then I'll definitely do that. Um, I'll definitely just go over your um, LSAT blog as well. And then also join the Facebook page as well that you said, and just look in there because I, I, I really do need help along the way. It's the LSAT isn't easy. It's not something that I feel like I can do it on my own, but then again, it's just like, I do need help in certain areas that I'm seeing. So I'm definitely going to look into your, uh, your website as well and try to become a student. Awesome. Fantastic, Chelsea. Well, please keep in touch. Let me know if you need anything as you move forward. I will. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.